A woman come in and wanted to get to know more about her. I soon found out that this was her brother, Jeff. Welcome back. Today we're talking to men who live as women and have even won beauty pageants. Now, right now, I want you to meet Danielle's boyfriend, Michael, Amy's boyfriend, John, and Tandy's boyfriend, Ronnie. I'm going to start with you, Michael. How did you two meet, and what is it like to be in love with a woman who is a man? Well, actually, when Danielle and I first met, um, I met her as a female. I didn't know any different, and I was on a date with her sister, her younger sister. Who is, in fact, a woman. Who is, in fact, a woman. Okay. I dated women all my life up until I met Danielle. I was on a date with her sister, saw this beautiful woman come in and wanted to get to know more about her. I soon found out that this was her brother, Jeff, that I was actually talking to. Okay, now let me stop you right there because my guess would be if I were attracted to this woman and I'd start, you know, talking to her and I'd take her out to dinner and I liked her and all that, if she suddenly was this what, like the second date, the third date, a couple of weeks later? Um, no, actually, I found out the same night that I met her. Okay. At and we didn't start dating immediately. I, um... But if she suddenly said to you, and then I won't interrupt anymore, okay. but if she suddenly said to you, you know, you're really a really cute guy and you're really nice, but I gotta tell you, I'm a guy, wouldn't the, and I don't want to say normal reaction as if there's something bad about not being normal, but I'm gonna say what the majority of people are, wouldn't the, that normal reaction be, gosh, excuse me, I mean, you wouldn't be rude, you wouldn't say anything bad, but you'd say, oh, well, hey, nice to go, maybe one day we'll go to a ball game. I mean... Right. <laughs> It was strange at first. Um, I went through, and I think probably most everyone on the panel went through, a time early in the stages where you're confused. You don't understand. You want to date this beautiful woman, but there's something about her that she's not a woman. You don't understand why you're attracted to her. <coughs> through growth and just getting to know the person, I fell in love with her. I've been with her for six years now. Um, you just, you get by the little things that happen every day, and you just, lo you know, if you love someone, it doesn't matter. And, well, let me ask a question. Are you gay? I don't feel like I am. I have a lot of gay friends. I've always been open-minded. I go to gay clubs sure. to watch her perform, but I've never been attracted to men. But she's a man. Right. So it's, at some point... Psychologists could write books on the subject. Yeah. I, it's, it, I, I don't understand it I myself the all the time. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I've dated women my whole life. I come from a, a very... You've dated what your whole life? I've dated, dated women my whole life. Okay. Um, I come from a very strict family background, prior service members, Marines, the, you know, the whole bit. And I was always raised as, you know, a fag basher. And until I got away from my family and got into living on my own, I went to school... I started to, to realize that it's, it's not that way. It's not right. Um, and I had met Amy, I had seen her a couple times at a club, and then I had just introduced myself, and I, what I saw was a woman who was more woman than any woman I've, I've ever seen. Acted more like a woman, talked more like a woman, softer. It, it, was, it just kind of blew my mind. And the thought didn't really come across my head that Phil. So you're attracted to Amy because, not because Amy's a man, because but... she's very feminine. She's uh, more feminine than women I've been when I think I've been with some, you know, quite pretty women, feminine women. Same experience with you? Right. Like, um, I got to know Tandy. I met her out at a club on her turf, as usual. And, um, so we got to know each other. And before sex or anything became an issue, we, um, got to know each other. And I fell in love with her, not what was between her legs. Thank you, darling. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I understand that. But at some point, as the relationship developed, wouldn't that start to make a difference? If before that, you had never been out with a man in, in a... Uh... If we weren't comfortable with each other, it might be. But at some point, you have to get comfortable. Sex is a very intimate thing. Yes. And, um... That's certain all. We wanted to get to know each other to find, to out, find if out if we, we even wanted to waste the time to have sex. If we didn't like each other, we weren't going to do it. Right. Do you, do you want Tandy to change over totally to a woman? No, I'm happy with the way she is. You know why? I don't I... really want to be a woman right now. Okay. 
What did your sister say when she lost you? Oh, my sister. Well, that's how my mother and my family found out about me. I mean, she had a fit, so of course she told the whole family the whole story. And we weren't she... exactly dating. We had just gone out a few times. Uh, we were more friends than anything else, and but, I met Danielle through her. I mean, after six years, she, you know, she realizes that it was us that was meant to be together, not her. Since all you guys are decent looking, doesn't it make it kind of hard when you guys go to a bar and see a, you know, a female female? And, you know, you, I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about you guys because you're all beautiful, but um, doesn't it make it hard when you see, like, real females? Do you have a boyfriend? Mm, kind of, not really. Does it make it hard for him when he goes out to a club to see other females? Well, yeah, but it's different. It's, it's all about commitment. It's, not. it's the same. It's commitment. It's, you know, it's I commit love myself commitment. to her, so I'm not going to... You're confusing it, sex with love. There's a big difference. Yes. Hi, um, Tandy's boyfriend, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Ron. He was talking about how he got to know her first, and he, lo he likes her, loves her for who she is and not between what's her legs. I just wanted to ask, this might be kind of personal, but... <sighs> How do you look so good in those dresses? I, mean, I could never tell you were men, because there's... You'll ask the question, you know what, you're going to ask the question more when they're in their bathing suits. You mean, what do we do with it? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's like anything else. Um, if you're a woman that's slightly heavier, then you try to camouflage it. You've got to hide your flaws, darling. It's just a small flaw for me. I'm just... <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm, I'm bewildered at where I would hide it. I mean... <laughs> well, you well, might I'm... have a harder time than Well, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about that, but I'm... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on to your hats, so or in this case, wigs, because when we come back, our men, women, are coming out in their bathing suits, and we're going to answer your question. So stay with us. 